Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, I'm going to show you what's new in Oxygen 4.7 Beta 1. This is a narrowly focused release based entirely around improving the code authoring experience in Oxygen. Many, if not most of our users are fairly advanced and use code quite often when building sites with Oxygen. So we want to make that experience as smooth and easy as possible. So the first thing we did was we upgraded our code mirror, which is the JavaScript library that provides the editor you use when you're editing code in Oxygen. We bumped that up to the latest version. So let's drop in a code block here so we can see what's going on and open up the PHP and HTML editor. You'll notice it looks a little different. And in the beta, there still is a bit of polish that we've already started to wrap up for the next release. So this will only get better from here. But what upgrading the code mirror library allowed us to do was introduce new features. If we go over, for instance, to the CSS section and start writing some CSS, we'll do my class and then we want to add a background color. We're going to get autocomplete, which allows us to once it kind of shows what we want, we can just hit enter and drop that in. So this will be familiar if you're used to working in another IDE. And we'll go ahead and add a value here so that our code is valid. And then we'll go back and JavaScript also has autocomplete. So we can do let my var name equal function. And you can see it dropped in the basic structure of a function there. So this should be helpful for you when writing code inside of Oxygen. And we also have a nice auto closing feature for HTML tag so if we do something like section and then close that it's going to go ahead and create the closing section tag for us which is super handy now let's assume we have a bunch of code in here let's do a div and then let's do an image and then let's do another div and then inside that let's go ahead and do a paragraph with a bunch of text text with multiple lines now you can see the code starts to get a little bit tall so what we can do is we can just use these little arrows in the sidebar here to fold that code down to one line. So once you've built something out, if it's like a big function or something and you're done editing it, but you're working around it, you can fold the code down. And this works across all of the editors. So we can fold entire rules in CSS and then in JavaScript, of course, if we had a function, we could fold that as well. Now, another really cool quality of life feature here is the find and replace. So if we hit control or command F while we're in the code editor, we have this new interface for search and replace. So we can actually search for text inside the entirety of the code. Whereas before you had to use the browser search function, which could only search what was visible. This will actually search everything in the code editor. So we could search for div and it's going to find all the divs. We could replace them with section if we wanted to and replace all and that's going to alter our code for us. We also have the ability to match case, use regex and match by word. So this is going to be really handy when you're writing more robust features using the code editor in Oxygen. You're going to be able to easily make alterations in the event that that's required. And of course, this is a beta. So some of this UI is not great as far as like the X button is dark. Uh, we're going to fix all of that in the next release. So for now, it's functional and you can try it out. But the final upgrade we made, which is the one I'm personally most excited about, is the mixed code view. So if we go over here to mixed code, we're going to see all three of our editors. So we can see all the code that we've done at a glance. We can scroll up and down if there's a lot. And then we can expand into the full editor view when we really want to get focus on one particular type of code. But for a lot of really small, like one-off things, like say a button that triggers some effect, this will give you a view of basically all the code you're going to need for something like that. But if we want to go in and edit the code of any one of these, we just hit expand and open that up. In the next release, we'll also have a button to go back to the mixed view, which will be super convenient. But for now, we just go back to primary and click mixed code. And then we're back in here. And of course, we can edit here as well. Note that the mixed code view is unique to the code block because there aren't any other places in Oxygen where you can edit multiple types of code besides individual elements where you can add custom CSS and JavaScript, but generally you shouldn't be doing that anyways. But that being said, the code mirror changes like the search 
and the code folding and the autocomplete apply everywhere in Oxygen that you can write code. So if we go up here to style sheets, for instance, and add a style sheet, we're going to see that we have those new features here as well. It applies to the style sheets editor in the WordPress admin panel and to those individual element custom CSS and JavaScript editors that I mentioned before. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's what's new in Oxygen 4.7 Beta 1. Thank you for watching.